Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to review these two books that talk about criticism and your inner critic. This is Shut Your Monkey, How to Control Your Inner Critic and Get More Done by Danny Gregory. And this is Your Inner Critic is a Big Jerk and Other Truths About Being Creative by Danielle Kreiser. So let's take a closer look at them. These two books were both published this year and since they talk about the same subject, I've decided to review them together in this video. Let's look at this book by Danny Gregory first. Shut Your Monkey is a bit different compared to Danny Gregory's earlier books which mostly talk about sketching and how to sketch. So this book talks about criticism, more specifically your inner critic. This book is more of a motivational book. It helps you identify your inner critic, understand what your inner critic is trying to achieve and let you know that you can actually work with your critic and be confident and proud enough to still create your own artwork. Now the book is quite lengthy. It has uh, 160 pages. It talks about all sorts of criticism that different people use on themselves. And in this book, the inner critic is referred to as the monkey. So it's going to teach you how to shut your monkey. I think criticism is something that everyone can relate to. Uh, personally, for me, I have inner critic as well. Sometimes I question my own work. Different people deal with it differently and this book provides some suggestions on how to deal with criticism and also help you look at things from a different perspective. Now this is a book I can see myself rereading again in the future because it's structured in such a way that you can actually just flip to any page and just read bits of it and you won't get lost. The tone is always encouraging. Every once in a while, I think people need a little push to do things that they want but hold back um, because of your own inner critic or for whatever reason. I think this book is the book that will give you that little push. So if you want to be inspired, if you are feeling a bit disappointed, if you're feeling a bit down because someone posted a comment on your blog or on your artwork saying that it's not good enough, I think this is a book that may cheer you up and motivate you to create more work. So this is a 160 page paperback. Now let's take a look at this other book by Danielle Kreiser. Danielle Kreiser is a collage artist and the creator of the very popular blog called The Jealous Curator. This is not her first book. She has two other books. One is on collage and the other one is on dealing with creative blog, the artist blog. Now the first thing that came to my mind when reading this book is it's very similar to the book by Danny Gregory. Both authors, they talk about dealing with the inner critic from their own perspective. And because the subject matter is quite similar, I would recommend just getting one of the two books but not both the books. So in Danielle Kreiser's uh, book, she talks about criticism, inner critics, I mean, artists, they receive criticism all the time and some take it better than others. This book talks about how you can handle criticism and what to think about them. There are suggestions on how you can adopt a positive mindset when you work and also gives you suggestions to activities that you can do to break out of the habit of procrastination and doubt. There are also interviews with other artists who have faced similar situations so um, you can learn from other artists. Recently I received a comment on my YouTube channel that says I don't think this person is much of an artist, at least he isn't a good drawer. Well I really laughed quite hard at that comment. I mean, I have my own personal take on how to handle criticism, but I don't think I'm going to write a book anytime soon. So what's inside this book? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be applied to artists. It's not unusual for people to have self-doubt 
or that inner critic once in a while so regardless of your occupation I mean even if you are deciding to do something new you want to do a create a new business or startup or maybe do a new book project uh, and you have self-doubt then yeah you can get some inspiration from this book as well so overall this is quite an uplifting and inspiring inspiring book just like Danny Gregory's book there are hundred and let me see how many pages hundred and thirty over pages this is a hardcover and this is a paperback it's really quite a coincidence to have two books that are talking about the same subject matter and the content is very similar so it's really difficult for me to recommend one over the other so you can just get one both are good both are very motivational thanks for watching today's video if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section i'll post links to my text review and on my text review you can get uh, links to where you can find these two books Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye!